John Kine, two minutes. Uh, thank you, Chairman. I'd, like other speakers, I'd like to take this, take this opportunity to thank uh, County Council staff, ESB staff, Aircom staff, and indeed local communities who are out there uh, clearing roads, clearing sea seaweed, clearing, clearing rock and uh, debris off uh, many of our local roads in the height of the uh, storms. Galway County Council have estimated about 18 million euro worth of damage in the City Council three quarters of a million. Uh, quite clearly this is the, the funding and repair of this infrastructure locally is beyond the scope of our local authorities. There needs to be uh, state funding. We also need to apply for the solidarity funding from the European Union. Uh, I, I'm conscious the Minister has stated that he is contacting the local authorities seeking more detailed reports by the 14th of February uh, on the envisaged works including costings. And, uh, whilst I acknowledge that that is to be done, I, I would agree with those who stated that there should be an immediate uh, payment uh, of, of some percentage of some number of millions in, in the case of Galway County Council to allow them to carry out the, the, the most urgent repairs and those that uh, uh, some projects are larger some projects will have to go out to tinder to do uh, to do works uh, but for those smaller projects there need to be immediate source of funding there was an amount of damage in different areas in the city and county, including Salt Hill and the Cadda, in Spiddle, uh, where it's quite evident where there was rock armour along the coast that the prom wasn't affected, where there was no rock armour, the prom was torn up. So that's quite clearly a solution that we need to look and ensure that rock armour is put in place. Also along the, the, the lovely walkway along Spiddle also, which was, uh, didn't have rock armour, again we need to look at that. We also need to, to, to as, as part of a study, to look at the existing infrastructure. For example, a seawall in, in Albrack and Ballykeneely, which was built in 1940, repaired in 1952, collapsed, uh, caused flooding and caused an amount of, of, of hardship for the, for the locals. Um, you know, it, it, wouldn't it wouldn't have required a lot to, to have put investment in that over the years to protect that. And unfortunately that wasn't done, now the overall cost uh, is added. Uh, and that's something that needs to be looked at. There's an amount of damage done on our islands, on, on our Aran Islands and in Ishbafan in terms of coastal erosion, coastal Thank defence you. walls. And we've had piers affected, graveyards affected, uh, roads affected, washed up, and uh, bridges which are possibly undermined, including Letcher Moor Bridge. So there's, there's an amount of problems and we need, we need funding. And I'd urge the Minister that you, 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 do, you do all you can to advance funding to Galway County Council and Galway City Council. Thank